Hello and welcome back to another episode of Twig and this week there's a brand new map in Core Wars, this month's new Ultra items have been released and also Galaxy have hinted at them working on some big things that haven't been released yet so it's really exciting so let's get into the video. So as always I'll start off by putting the change logs for this week's update on the screen now so you can pause the video and read them if you want. And also here are last week's changelogs because I didn't do a video last week and I'll also be talking about last week's changelogs in this video. So I'm going to start by going through a few little items that were added to the shop last week. So they are the magic carpet cart, the little Ben core and the thinking core. Um, so yeah, recently there's been quite a lot of new items being added. And uh, yeah, sort of over the last month, there's been a lot of new items added. And like before that, there was like a really long period of time where we just didn't see many items added at all. So um, yeah, it is good that we have seen some new items being added to the shop. But it also looks like Galaxy are going to continue adding more new items to the shop. Because in last week's change logs, they specifically asked people to give their suggestions for what items they want to see added. Um, so yeah, they asked for people to give their suggestions in the Galaxy Discord. So yeah, it looks like Galaxy are wanting to add more new items in the future. And also it is quite good that they are asking the players what items they want to see. Um, so yeah, I guess that is pretty cool. Uh, I guess there's some new items we can look forward to in the future. So while we're on the topic of items, I think it's a good time to mention the Winterfest event because just this week the global ornament total needed to unlock the Snow Globian avatar was reached and that means the Snow Globian avatar has become available to unlock with your own ornaments and it's become available for 1,500 ornaments. So if you've got at least 1,500 ornaments, that means you can unlock the Snow Globian avatar. Now, what would have normally happened when you unlocked a new community item from the Winterfest event is it would then come up with the next community item that we needed to try and unlock with the global total of ornaments. However, this time, uh, instead it comes up with a message saying all community items unlocked so yeah all of the items from the Winterfest event have been like unlocked already and um, yeah I'm assuming that means the Winterfest event will probably end quite soon uh, I don't know when maybe sometime in the next week like maybe when the next like update comes out on the Thursday that'll be when the Winterfest event ends um, although, yeah, I don't know exactly when, but we have already unlocked all of the items from the Winterfest event. We've already seen all of the items from the Winterfest event, so I'm assuming it will come to an end soon. Um, but yeah, so we know exactly how many ornaments you need to get to unlock all of the different items. And that's 2,000 ornaments, because that's the amount you need for the Polar Bear Avatar, which is the last of the items to unlock with your own ornaments, like a little section at the bottom of the menu. So yeah, if you've got at least 2,000 ornaments, then you can unlock all of the items from the Winterfest event. But if you've not already reached 2,000 ornaments, you might want to play a little bit more to just try and reach that 2,000 ornaments because we already know that is going to be the most amount of ornaments you need to get to get all of the items. So at the start of last week's change logs, there was a little message that basically explained that the devs have been focusing on uh, like things that haven't been released yet. Um, so yeah, basically just explaining why there hadn't been a big update last week because they were spending the time on stuff that hasn't been released yet. Um, but yeah, that basically telling us that there will be some big stuff I guess coming out in the future that Galaxy are working on at the moment um, but yeah what are they working on what is that that they're talking about uh, I think one of the things they might be referring to is the new prestige items for season 5 because um, yeah the, the prestige items are usually added around this time in the season um, but obviously we've not got them released yet for this season yet um, so yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if in the next couple of weeks we see the prestige items added. 
but also something else that I think is important to mention about last week's changelogs and also this week's changelogs as well is that Orbi wasn't like giving us the changelogs. Normally there's like this Orbi account on uh, the Galaxy Discord that will do the changelogs. Um, but instead, last week it was Gwen, and this week it was uh, Oofsif. So, um, yeah, basically they've both sort of explained in each of the changelogs that Orbi is not, like, like they've specifically stated that Orbi is not doing the changelogs, because um, in last week's it says Orbi is busy this week working on something important. So, yeah, maybe that has some sort of significance. Um, yeah, in this week's changelogs, it's not that specific, it just says Orbi is away, but both changelogs have specifically said that Orbi is not there, Orbi is doing something else, so it must have some sort of a significance, and it perhaps has something to do with the things they are working on uh, that are going to be released in the future, maybe Orbi is related to that. And uh, normally, the thing that Orbi is sort of most related to in Galaxite is the law, Galaxite law. And uh, yeah, if you look on the Galaxite wiki, there's quite a lot on Orbi because Orbi is quite significant in Galaxite law um, with all of the portals and stuff from previous seasons. Uh, Orbi is sort of supposed to be the like savior of the Galaxite universe like uh, saving us from the corruption, taking us to new hubs at different seasons. And um, yeah, it must have something to do with that. Um, maybe foreshadowing something that is gonna happen in the future to do with the law of Galaxite and uh, Orbi will be in some way involved. But yeah, it is quite exciting. I, I wonder what it is that they're referring to. Um, but yeah, I guess we've just got to wait and see what happens. So this month's new Ultra items were added this week and basically just in case you don't already know every month Galaxite released two new Ultra items and if you've got the Ultra membership on the server you can pick one of those two items every month and you'll get to keep the item you choose. Um, so yeah the first of this month's new Ultra items is the Ultra Propeller Hat Avatar and it's an ultra version of the uncommon propeller avatar from the season 5 battle pass, the current battle pass, um, and you get it for reaching level 21. Um, so yeah, that's the first of the new ultra items, and the second new ultra item is the ultra fairy avatar, which is an ultra version of the rare fairy avatar, which is just in the shop. Um, so yeah, they're the two new ultra items. So this week a new map was added in Core Wars called Violet Spires and it's in all three of the different Core Wars modes, it's in solos, duos and quads and yeah I've not had a chance to play the quads map yet but um, I have played solos and the solos map is always just the same as the duos map um, but yeah you can just get to the person next to you with just one set of blocks uh, so that means that it's a sort of map where right at the start you're going to be like rushing the person next to you and um, yeah that always makes very exciting games from the start um, but then you also need I think it's two sets of blocks you need to get to the people on the other side of you so it's not like the maps where you just need one set of blocks either side it's one of the ones where you just need one set of blocks to get to your neighbor and then uh, you need like two sets of blocks to get to the next person and um, yeah so it is quite a nice map uh, I do like the maps where you can just get to the person next to you straight away with one set of blocks because it means you're not sort of waiting around for more iron so you can get like another set of blocks because there's always five iron in the like drill right at the start so that means straight away you can always get one set of blocks but yeah if you need two sets of blocks to get to the person next to you that means like you've got to wait around a bit for another five iron to get in the drill um, but yeah since there is someone next to you that you can get to with just one set of blocks then that just makes the game really fast to start off with uh, although that is when you have got someone next to you sometimes if you've not got a full game of eight players you might not have someone next to you on that side that's quick to get to um, but yeah I guess you've just got to wait around then um, but yeah I think overall the Violet Spies map is quite a nice map because you can get to the person right next to you quite quickly so it starts the game off quite quickly um, but then at the same time you've not got people rushing you from all the different directions because uh, it then takes a bit more blocks to get to the other people. 
So I don't normally just mention bug fixes in these videos but there is one I'm going to mention right now and that is because it was quite an important bug fix uh, for a bug that was very annoying. Um, so yeah there was a bug in Kronos and Rush where the basically the hitboxes of players was just all messed up but um, yeah last week that bug was fixed. Um, so yeah, now you can go back to playing Kronos and Rush normally, um, cause yeah, I know there were quite a few people who just sort of stopped playing them when the, like, bug sort of started happening, cause, um, yeah, people did find it very annoying, but luckily it's now been fixed. So that's it for this week's episode of Twig, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, and also if you've not already, please subscribe, cause it really helps me out, and it also means you won't miss any future episodes of this series. So, yeah, bye.